Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to handle drop downs in Selenium. Let us understand with an example. I navigate to a website and I click on drop down. And we see a drop down list here, right? So this is what we call it as a drop down list. When we you click on this drop down, we have some options under it, right? And we can select one or more options in it. In some cases, we can only select one option. And in some cases, in the drop down list, we can select more than one option as well. So this is what we call it as a drop down. And how do we actually automate it with Selenium? That we are going to see now. So let's start writing the code for it. I have created a class here and, you know, I copy the code here for the first three lines. You see, I'm setting Chrome driver binary here and created the web driver in instance, you see, and instantiated it to the Chrome driver. Then maximizing the browser window once the browser is launched, right? Now, let's navigate to the particular website. This is the URL of it. So let's directly navigate to this URL. Then what do we need? We wanted to inspect this element drop down, right? So let's do that. Once we navigate to this uh, URL, so this is how the drop down element looks like. So right click on this element, inspect it. Inspect this element. Takes, take the help of selectors hub and we'll take relate to path. Driver dot find element by dot xpath and copy the xpath which we got it from selector sub right and let's actually store this element into some web element object i'll call this as drop down right so now what we'll do is we'll see a new class here right that is select class select select class is, is an select is an class so we need to create an object of select class i'm going to tell you what select class is now right we need to create a select class and pass the drop down web element into it so why are we doing this is using select class object only we can actually handle the this web element drop down so this is what we need to know and you see here, right? Select class is also coming from Selenium package, org.openqa.selenium.support.va. So import it from this package. So this is how dropdown uh, needs to be handled in Selenium, right? So we need to inspect and get the web element of the dropdown and pass it on to the select class object, right? So now we have the select class object. We use this dropdown dot select is a select class object dot now we have different methods to select the particular option in in the drop down right so the first option is select by index if we know the index we can actually provide the index here like say for example i wanted to select second item right so then uh, you need to provide one so index starts with zero right so i wanted to select if you go back I wanted to select option two here, option one and option two. So zero, one, two, right? So I'm giving index as two here. So what should happen? It has to select option two here, right? So let's actually execute this and verify. So what did we do here? We just uh, like uh, how we inspect the web elements right other elements we inspected and got the drop down web element here and then what did we do we actually used a class called select class and passed this drop down web element to it and finally we use the select class object and a new method right and a method select by index and pass the index to it remember index starts with zero okay connection failure retrain seems like there is some network issue that's why it is running very slow yeah it maximizes the browser window 
navigates to a particular URL and it has to select the option do now. Yes, you see, it selected option two, right? Now, if we wanted to select uh, another another option, right? So for that, what we'll use, what we'll do, we'll see another method, select by index, select by value. See, select by value, and I'll select by value. How do we pass parameter by value is? Go back to this. You see, say for example, option one, right? Inspect option one here. So if you observe option one, select ID equal to drop down. You see the options, right? So these are the different options uh, which were listed under the drop down. If you observe option value, value is an attribute, right? Of option tag, option value equal to one, and you see the actual uh, value of it is option one. But if you see the attribute value is one here, right? So this is what we mean by select by value. So when we use the select by value method, this is what we need to pass. That is the value of the value attribute. So this is what the value attribute is. And the value is two for option two and one for option one. So select by value and the parameter I'm going to pass is one as I wanted to select option one, right? So as this runs very fast, so we might not see the difference, like option two will be selected and then one will be selected, right? Or like two is selected and then one is selected, right? So then uh, it, it shows only option one is selected. So in order to see the difference, right? So let's add some wait time here. Thread dot sleep. I'll add some two seconds of wait time here. Just add throws declaration and run the code. Just another method for the select class. Select by index takes the index as the parameter. Select by value takes the value attribute as the parameter, right? Now see, first option two has to be selected. Yes, after two seconds, see, option one got selected right now there is another method which we can use to select the options under the drop down list right that is called select by visible text what does that mean is whatever we see here this is what we call it as a visible text you can also get it in the dev tools right so this is what it is option one so this is what the visible text on the web page is right so we can actually select the options using the visible text as well, whatever is visible on this web page, right? So what is visible? Option one, option two, like this, right? So what we can do is we can actually say option two here. Option one is already selected, so option two. Again, I am going to add the wait time just to see the difference. I'm adding wait time so that we can notice uh, the selection. So these are the three different uh, methods which we can use to actually select the options in the drop down. And you see option two is selected option one and after two seconds again option two, right? So these are the three different methods which we can use to select the options under the drop down list, right? And if you wanted to get all the options which are present in the drop down, we wanted to look into it. So, how do we do that? Let's see that now. Drop down, drop down select dot get options. Get options returns all the available options listed in under the drop down list, right? And let's see. Get options actually returns list of web elements. So, let's capture that into the list. import list from java.util package and we are going to write a for each loop for each web element option from the list of options 
we wanted to display all the options text of it option is the web element and we wanted to get the text out of it right let me execute the code so you see get options is a method which actually returns all the options under a drop down list option two got selected one has to be selected again two has to be selected right then we get the options listed here see we got uh, all the options under the uh, drop down list using the get options method and we just printed them on the console right so these are the important methods we, we can see like we can which are useful when we are using drop down right so the new thing here is if you observe the select class this is the only new thing right right uh, unlike other uh, web elements where we actually you know inspect uh, or locate the web element and actually apply or use the methods on that uh, web element uh, unlike other web elements uh, drop down is a special place case where we actually pass the web element uh, uh, drop down into a select class right so into a select class and then we use this uh, select class methods to actually select the options under the drop down and get options is a method which, which actually gets all the options uh, which are displayed under the drop down so that's all for this video thanks for watching